No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, it's Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Anna at PS Technic. We're talking about a new anamorphic lens you guys have. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Okay. Um, here is our new lens. It's a 1.5 anamorphic uh, zoom lens. It can cover uh, Super 35, 6K, and it also covers uh, Vista Vision and full frame um, at a certain range, which we think is a good thing as it looks like the future is going to be larger sensors. Yeah. That's great. Uh, can you tell us anything about the construction of the lens, uh, where it fits in the line, I guess, with your other anamorphic lenses? Yes, sure. Um, it's a front anamorphic um, design. That means that the anamorphic element sits in the front of the lens and gives. Uh, and this uh, design gives you nice anamorphic flares and um, the look, the overall highlights. Um, yeah. And uh, what's the, the widest aperture? The widest aperture is 3.2. And what mount is this available in? The standard is PL mount, but um, the lens uh, comes with an exchange mount system, so you could also have an E mount, Canon EF mount, Micro Four Third, and uh, Nikon F mount would also be a possibility. And uh, what about the price point and when one would expect to find this in rental houses? Okay, the, it's um, available for more um, about 25,000 US. So we have usually a euro price, but there will be a US price soon. And um, it's available right now and we are delivering now from end of this month the back orders that we have. So I guess it's soon around. <laughs> this lens you get very nice anamorphic flares, the horizontal flare, and I want, would like just to show what it looked like. We have uh, can make a little test here. And was there a reason you guys went with a 1.5 as opposed to 2? Um, well, we uh, choose the 1.5 because we think it's a, a, a great uh, f a squeeze factor for 16 by 9 sensor and also for Vista Vision. It works pretty well with those uh, aspect ratio. And so with uh, 16 by 9 sensors, you with a de-squeezed image, you have an image that's a little bit bigger than the usual widescreen image. So you also have the chance to uh, crop a little bit, take the center of the image, which is usually a good thing and uh, similar for Vista Vision. And Anna, you were mentioning that uh, something that vintage lens owners might be really excited about. You guys do a lot of lens rehousings. Yes, we offer rehousing for vintage lenses and also for still photo lenses. Um, and uh, what we do is we put them in a new housing with new mechanics so they can work with um, focus motors that we use today a lot and they get the PL mount, they have the gearings in the same position, identical front diameter. So basically that they are fit in our, the world of accessories and cameras that, that are used today. We also lo offer a lot of uh, services to restore the lenses. Maybe they have uh, scratches and we can polish them and recoat them to remove the scratches. And uh, we work on um, replacing broken elements and things like that. And we definitely can clean the lens and yeah, see everything needed around uh, restoring and uh, rehousing the lenses. And what is the uh, price and turnaround for these jobs usually? Well, turnaround a little bit depends on what lens it is, but I think in uh, average we could say si six to eight weeks for the, the usual rehousing we offer for special jobs. We need to definitely discuss uh, this. Um, uh, what's the price usually? Um, it, starts, uh, it starts at uh, 2,300 euro. Um, per lens for rehousing Cook Speed Pancreas and then yeah, 